hello snowbodies welcome back to the channel if you're just joining us here for the very first time you're highly welcome my name is joy and i am the tutor for this channel way by angli in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this crescent moon shaped sleeve this is a part three on how to make this 10 pieces blouse so if you haven't seen the part one and two please do so and without wasting much of our time let's get right into the tutorial So yeah, the first thing I've gone ahead to do is to draft out my sleeve. I did an earlier tutorial on how to draft a sleeve. You want to also refer back to that tutorial. Then yeah, I'm coming down three inches for to start, you know, drafting the sleeve or altering the sleeve to the crescent moon shape. Now, ideally, you're supposed to use a curved or a flex ruler for this part. But since I don't have one, I'm going to be making do with what I have. So yeah, I'm using my straight rule. I'm working with CM. So what I've gone ahead to do is to measure out 10 CM like so. So you want to do the same thing for the back part of this sleeve. Yeah, I've measured out 10 CM and also, you know, squared it down 3 CM. So from the center of the sleeve, I'm also going ahead to measure 10 CM for the back part. So that's what I've gone ahead to do. Mark 10 CM and also square it in. 3 cm so after i've done this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to link the three that's mark mark out 3 cm in strategic points like you're seeing me do and then just link these points together so now after linking this point together i'm going to go ahead and cut out these parts that i've marked out so yeah, this is me labeling it out 3 cm so that you see and you know the measurements I used. Now, it doesn't mean that it's a must that is 3 cm. You can actually make yours 4 cm, but I think anything beyond 5 cm will be too pointy. So yeah, the next thing I'm going to have to do is to mark out 5 cm. That's measuring the midpoint of that curve on both sides. Remember the curve is 10 cm. So I've just gone ahead to divide the curve, curvy part in the back and the front into two. So yeah, this is me cutting it out. Cutting out this curve. So you want to cut out this curve like so. And then also cut out this um, part like so. But without cutting through your paper. You just want to cut it and just snip it without cutting through the paper you have to be very careful so that you do not cut through the paper now after i've done this the next thing i went ahead to do is to you know tape this down so that it doesn't move around and also tape the other side the opposite side and then spread this part that i've gone ahead to cut you want to spread it open like so up to the highest point and also go ahead and do the same thing for the opposite side so you just want to spread it to the highest point and also tape that down now after i've done this after taping it down the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to now draw the new lines that's linking it linking that curve which is now looking almost straight i'm going to be linking it to the next new line actually this tutorial doesn't need so much um talking but as usual i'm going to try and do a little bit of explanation it's quite self-explanatory but i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um explanation as we go so yeah this is me linking it like so you want to link it so yeah for the, cal the calculation i used for the linking at the inner part i used 11 cm now it's not a must that you must use 11 cm in fact i've even seen the ones that went as far as 20 cm and then they went ahead the 20 cm is actually going to be very wide which is like more like an exaggerated sleeve but personally that 11 cm was just it for me so yeah I made sure that um, the center line is 11 cm and also the top line this part i'm drawing like so is going to be 3 cm of course which is the 3 cm that we've been using so whatever you do for the left you also want to go ahead and do for the right at the end of the day this is 11 cm 11 cm now when you are joining it you want to make sure that this part i'm really i'm drawing now is also 11 cm on both sides that's 11 cm plus 11 cm will give you 22 cm right so you want to make sure it's equally 
11 cm because that is the part that will be joining to this straight um, part of the sleeve like so so yeah i've gone ahead to trace out the remaining part of the sleeve on the new paper so that when i'm cutting out i'm going to have a whole sleeve so the next thing you want to do is to cut out your paper like so you know tracing out your new sleeve you want to trace this out like you're seeing me do So after tracing it out the next thing i'm going to be measuring out is another 3 cm from the base of the sleeve and then i'll just square it out horizontally like so now the reason why i did this is just um, a guideline when i'm slashing the sleeve open remember the cap of the sleeve cap this part that i'm cutting right now is not up to 11 cm on both sides so we want to do a slash and spread so that we'll be able to get 11 cm because that's the part we that will be joining to this um the sleeve the straight part of the sleeve so what i'm doing basically is to slash and spread and of course you need you need um you, you must not um go up 3 cm you can actually just leave it at the base and just slash and spread it but personally i didn't want my base to be too wide that is why i didn't uh, slash slash it vertically to the base so this is what i'm gonna have to do you, you, the next thing i am doing here is to you know tape this down so that it doesn't move around especially the base because i don't need the base to move around then also i'm going to be drawing my vertical line for guideline because i really need that vertical line when i'm measuring out the 11 cm because that's where i'm going to be starting the measurement so as you can see the next thing i'm gonna have to do is to spread this open and after spreading it open you want to make sure of the measurement and then start measuring the new curve so i want it to be exactly 11 cm because that's where it's going to be joining to this other part the straight part so i want an 11 cm and there right there i've got my 11 cm and i'm gonna have to tape that down so basically to get the other side i just measured the distance from the center line to the head of that um thing i i, I spread open and just equalized it made make it the same as the opposite side and automatically when you measure it it should give you an 11 cm as well so that's what i've gone ahead to do mind you if you have a flex or a curve ruler it is even better than what i'm doing it will be more accurate but because i don't have a curve ruler and the side of my tape is quite difficult to work with so that's why i'm going ahead to use a straight ruler so as you can see 11 cm 11 cm 3 cm so that's the the calf of the sleeve is 11 cm on both sides that's 22 cm now this is the new shape of my sleeve this is the new shape of the sleeve you can now go ahead and cut it out now like i said you can actually make this the instead of 11 cm you can make it a 9 a 10 cm you, if you don't want to spread it too much so yeah basically this sleeve is a one piece but if you remember in the 10 pieces blouse I, i'm combining green and orange fabric so i actually want to combine the two fab the two colors on the sleeve as well so i've gone ahead to cut it out instead of a one a one piece sleeve i'm going to make it a two piece so this other the center part is going to be green color and then the side part is going to be orange color but then if you're using maybe a solid fabric or maybe you're not combining colors or combining fabric then you can just go ahead and leave it as one piece without um without cutting it out or without demarcating it but because i'm combining colors so at as at now you can leave your sleeve at what you're seeing now like you can just leave it as what it is without cutting anything without demarcating so yeah i'm just cutting out the body of the sleeve out from the new paper i'm cutting it out like so and after cutting it out i'm going to go ahead and demarcate it so yeah this is where the demarcation starts from i'm cutting out the parts this other parts up is not needed this is the back and the front remember in the sleeve pattern we drafted the front is quite um, deeper than the back so you want to make sure of that they are not entirely alike so you want to make sure of you know labeling the back and the front so that at the end of the day it gives you a near to perfect 
sleeve so this is what our pat pattern looks like like i said it can be a one piece but because i want to demarcate this you know use two different prints or two different colors rather that's why i divided mine into two now let's get into the stitching for the stitching this is like i said this is the green and this is the orange now now that top part i made it a one piece i didn't make it a two piece i just went ahead and joined the paper and then cut it as one piece it can actually be into three so yeah i've gone ahead to iron my interfacing because as usual i really want this this top to be very rich so i've ironed in my interfacing on the orange and the green ankara prints fabric and i've also gone ahead to do the same for the lining this sleeve is going to have a line of course it will not just be open inside so yeah this is me joining my piece together like i said that orange part i went ahead to you know fuse the paper at the top part because i didn't want any joining at that center i didn't want any joining that's why i fused it but then if you want a joining then do well to put your allowance at wherever your seam allowance or the joining is going to be so i didn't put any joining at that part that is why you are seeing the orange as one piece and then this is me joining this is what it looks like after joining you see this sleeve looks confusing but it's quite easy to sew so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the lining just like i've done for the main fabric i'm going to go ahead and be doing the same thing for the line i also iron in my interfacing for the lining as well and at the end of the day to give it a little bit of structure you know this sleeve looks like a structured sleeve but if you don't put lining if you don't put interfacing it doesn't mean that it won't stand it will stand but just my personal preference i really want it to you know stand and kick up well that's why i went ahead to do that so after sewing my lining and my fabric this is me um sewing the lining and the main fabric together so yeah basically i'm sewing it at the hem part joining the lining to the main fabric and after that i'm gonna have to do a top stitch so that after pressing it the lining is hidden nice and clean after this i just want to go ahead and tuck in the lining into the fabric like so and then start shaping it to my desired fit all right so yeah this is me sh measuring the main the main dress the main top the armhole of the main top so that i'll be able to you know mark the same thing on the sleeve and then match it up so that's what i'm doing i'm going ahead to mark it on the sleeve and also do the same thing for the back this is the back of the top remember the back has a net so this is the back armhole so i've gone ahead to measure the same thing for the back armhole on the sleeve and then mark it out like so so after that i can now go ahead and shape my sleeve here i'm using a 14 inches for my sleeve because i don't want it to be too tight actually my round sleeve is 13 inches or 12.5 rather so yeah i'm using a 14 inches because i don't want it to be too tight on my sleeve so after marking my 14 inches i've gone ahead to you know so it's so the both ends together making it to be making the rough parts to be hidden inside so that's what i'm doing basically i've pinned it down so i'm gonna have to pin it so that everything matches up and then i'm going to stitch it down like you're seeing me do so guys if you're enjoying this tutorial if my tutorials are very helpful if they've been what you've been looking up to i encourage you to please hit that subscribe button do not forget to like this video or like the other ones you'll be watching you know comment your thoughts share this video turn on post notification by hitting on this small bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post new videos i always post videos every two two days so you do not miss any of our videos so yeah this is me stitching down the sleeve after shaping it i'm gonna have to shape it stitch it down trim up the parts that is not needed so this is what the sleeve looks like and the next thing i'm going to do is to just install it into the fabric now if you noticed while we were sewing this um, top i did an inner stitch meaning that all the rough edges were hidden inside but for the sleeve the rough edge is not hidden so i'm just sewing it directly and at the end of the day i'll go ahead to serge it to serge it so that the frayed edges would be you know 
the edges will not be frayed and everything will be nice and clean inside so that's what i've gone ahead to do so basically that's what it is that's what the sleeve looks like thank you so much for coming with me on this ride thank you so much for sticking with me till this very point yeah on the channel whereby only we do pattern making the business of fashion you know sewing anything concerning sewing especially for female wears and children wear thank you so much once again for coming with me on this ride have a nice day bye